All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Speakeasy Collectibles. Um, today I have for you Sideshow's Mandalorian from season two. Um, just recently picked this piece up from Sideshow. Um, got an email. They were given uh, 150 bucks off this plus free shipping and I jumped on it. I've been wanting this piece for a while. Um, I know there's a lot of controversy with the pose. Now, I had the Iron Studios one, and I know everybody seems to love that one the best. I'm one of the few that actually don't like that piece. It bothered me. There was a lot to it that was inaccurate, and I'm a person that when I collect things, I like accuracy. Um, I I had it for about three months and I just could not deal with it. It just, the inaccuracies bothered me and that's just really all there was to it. Um, I've always seen this piece and I've always said, this is accurate. Everything about this was accurate to the show. Um, so I sold my Iron, Iron Studios and kept the money and I was waiting on this to hit Sideshow Seconds, but lo and behold, I got an email when they were doing their Sideshow Con, um, or actually I think it was San Diego Comic Con, same thing though, um, but it was it was like a, a mystery, it was some kind of like mystery item, click on it on the email, and boom, this came up with 150 bucks off, free shipping, and I used some points. I, I think I walked out the door with this thing for about 380 bucks. So I jumped on it and I'm happy I did. I absolutely love this piece. Um, this was done, uh, sculpted and designed by Matt Black who al also did the uh, recent uh, Darth Vader premium format, which I love. And this piece complements that uh, very nicely uh, with my line. Um, so yeah, I, I, uh, I, I'm pumped about this. Um, so let's get into the review. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the base. The base is really simple, nicely done. Uh, nicely done on the rocks. Um, one thing about this base that a lot of people don't know is if you look closely, it's actually the symbol of the mythosaurs. As you can see, you got the lines down here, and then if you go across here, you got the horns. It, it's it's hidden really well, but I mean, clever, absolutely clever idea. And I absolutely love it. Then we go to the boots here. Boots are nicely done, weathered really nicely. Got some mud splatter on it. Very nicely done. And then you go up and it looks like he has some shells for his rifles strapped along the boot. And I'm not sure what that is right there sticking up, but probably another weaponry of his. And on this side here, you got the pouch. And you go up, you got the suit, nice wrinkles, gives it that Illusion that he's walking. And then you got the armor, which I absolutely love. It's very nicely detailed. And then you go up to his belt. Got more shells for the rifle there. Pouches, very nicely detailed. You got his gun. In the back here, what I like about this pose, and this is, you know, completely owner interpretation. Um, I feel he's moving the way he is because if you look closely, I think that hand is about ready to grab the gun and that's what he's doing. And if you, if you ever watch when, when you're walking and you're about to grab your, your firearm, you always, you always do that weird side thing, um, you know, to get ready to engage. And that's what I truly believe it's doing. Again, my interpretation, my opinion, everybody sees differently, but you know, 
that's what I see. It makes sense to me, and I'm not bothered by this, not one bit. All right, then you go to the gloves. Nicely detailed. You got the brownish yellow with the dark colors. Got his rifle. Nice silver. Nicely detailed. Then you go up, got the wrinkles on the suit. Makes it look like his arms are folded very nicely. Then you got his strap for his rifle. Again, that's nicely detailed. I love the uh, texture here. It makes it look like real leather. And then you got the best car, which is, if you look in the cracks here, gives it that weathered look. And what I like about this best car here is you don't have that orange peel effect. The Iron Studios, ugh, I just, it just bothered me, man. I just did not like it. It was just, I don't know. But this is nice and smooth, shiny, looks like metal. Go to the armor here, nicely done, nice little sheen. And then when you go over here, you have the symbol of the Mudhorn. Nicely done. And you go to the helmet. Love the helmet, nice weathering. You can't really see, but there is weathering there up top. Um, super happy with the way that turned out. Alright, and then we go to the back, to the rifle. Now, this is my favorite part of this. I like the way you can see the strap and you can see what's holding it in. And even down below here, if you can see in between here, there's a little peg. I mean, you're not, you don't see that, but it's just a nice hidden detail. It doesn't just plug into the cape. It looks like nothing's holding it. That bothered me. It just, I know you don't see it, but it just, I don't know. I, I, would, I like to strap. I like to see that that gun is held by something, not just plug into a cape and it's just, I don't know. Just a nitpick of mine. That's just my opinion. That maybe does bother a lot of people, but it just, it bothered me. That was just one of a few. And then we'll go up to the stock here. Nicely done, it looks like void. And then on this side, got some dings on it, so it gives it that illusion of, you know, it's been through battle. And then you got the cape. I love the sculpted cape. My only gripe about this, this is where Iron Studios was better. Um, you are, it shows weathering down here, which I do like. I just wish there were some holes. I wish it was torn up a little bit. That would have been true to the show instead of being a you know full on no holes and but uh you know we got some weathering so i'll take it all right the other thing on the rifle that i love um, i hope you can see this but on the if you see all that discoloration it looks like it's like heat scorn looks like it's just been fired or it's, you know, it's been used, so you get that kind of scorn look that you see a lot of times on automobiles, like on um, uh, gas pipes, just from the heat, like heat scorn. I love that, man, and it really pops in the light. So, very impressed. Okay, now comes the cool part of this statue is the pram, Grogu. This is the accurate pram from season two. And I love the way this looks. If you can see inside, nicely detailed. And then you got little Grogu on there. I think Grogu turned out great. I love his clothes, nicely detailed. The eyes are shiny, nice and big. And I thought they did a fantastic job on that. But just the illusion of it floating, I, that, that's what I, I love it. The Iron Studios one to me, I just, it just didn't give it that effect. It looks like it was just sitting on that rock. And I showed a picture of a buddy of mine and that's when he just told me like, nah, it doesn't, doesn't do it for me. 
just looks like it's sitting on the rock. And I was like, yeah, that's it, okay. So, but anyways, guys, um, very happy with this piece. Um, I know it's, you know, there was a lot of controversy on this, still is, it's still not a favorite of a lot of people. <laughs> but uh, definitely is mine. I'm happy I got this, I, I love it. Um, the pose is not as eccentric as it's shown in the photos. Uh, once you get it, it, it it's really, it, it doesn't show like, like in the photos. But, you know, again, it's owner interpretation. It's, it's what you see and, you know, if it bothers you, it's, then it's not for you. But definitely see it in person before passing judgment. That's, that's for sure. Um, Anyways, uh, thanks for watching and uh, till next time, we'll see ya, bye.